Liz is a stupid hoe. Oh, no. Because she eats some booty, 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 boo, boo, doo, doo. What's up, everybody? Now, y'all seen me do a video about my life is Liz Star, Liz Lee. And I talked about this article that was wrote about her. Now, this girl going to sit up here and call me a liar that I was spreading rumors. And I'm going to show you what the hell she said to me. I can't believe you post a video with so many lies. Did I say it was true? No. I had to change schools because the bullying was so bad. It was one of those bully, bullies who wrote the article, I don't even drink. I didn't say nothing about drinking. What a dumbass. Much less do drugs, and I know so much about Star Wars because of Sully and her nerd her, as the article calls it. I asked to do a parent for Star Wars Celebration by Lucasfilm and got her iPhone bragging about what she got. See, that makes you look Hollywood, makes you look guilty and dumb when you brag about something that you just got. And it's just proven that uh, you is stupid. I loved your show. I, I don't think you're a beautiful woman. And you gotta and you're gonna sit there and say, "Oh, and rub an iPhone in my face." Don't rub out something that you got in my face or your fans face. I, I got a cell phone. Mm -mm -mm. I got a cell phone and a car, lots of money, and you ain't got shit. And look what she. Well, look what else she wrote. She wrote because I had to two jobs since I was 15. I worked at the moat shop in Old Navy. This is from my life with Liz. My life is Liz. And me and Corey hate each other. She's the reason why I left school. I can't believe you would spread those lies. It's incredible. Hold up. Did I even say them lies was true? No, I didn't. So get that shit straight, young lady. I didn't sit there and say that shit was true. All I did was did a video about the damn article, and you're gonna sit there and post and look at and blame me for somebody else's bullshit. That makes you look more guilty for blaming somebody else. Look, I tell you, look, this is her real page. My life is lit. Look, she got the look. Uh, look, look, all this. This is hers. This is hers. How do you know that you really are? Because she say, oh, I know about Star Wars. What you know about Star Wars? Nothing. Nothing. You don't know nothing about Star Wars. You got to remember, man. How we know that this stuff that you're that was on your show is true? We don't. It, can, it, it might be a lie. You dropped out of school. How do we know that you dropped out of school? Because on your shows, it shows that you were in school that you was in high school, that you was in college, you and that girl wasn't friends. Why is she following you and why are you following her on your Twitter? That's one thing that I question. Now you sit up here and you want to point the fucking finger. Yeah, and you graduated from high school and you say, oh, I, didn't, I dropped out of school. Bitch, why? if you dropped out of school, wouldn't you be at home trying to get your GED? Oh, I guess not since you went to high school and you fell in love with bison and and you got your boy Sully loving on you. I felt bad for Sully because Sully loved you so much that he gave up everything for you. Even everything. You just did him wrong. That was the main person you should have hooked up with. But I forgot. It's a reality show. Everything in the reality show is bullshit. So everything you told me in them little bullshit messages was bullshit. It wasn't telling the truth. Now, if you're going to sit there and point fingers at me because of this guy's article, at least back your shit up first. Show some proof because what you just told me was bullshit lies. You didn't prove nothing. You didn't show me no proof. You didn't do nothing but say, oh, I'm expecting you, I'm expecting now you about me. I didn't say that you drank. See, so that was a dead giveaway that you do. The, 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 the drugs issues was true the drugs and the drinking was true cause I didn't bring up drinking I, I don't know if the article I don't forgot if the article did if they did hey man that's on the person who wrote it 
So never don't blame me for the guy that wrote the article. Blame the guy that wrote that article. Thank him instead of trying to tell me you're supposed to be this big MTV star. That's your damn problem. You get you got Hollywood on everybody. Uh, my name is Liz Lee, and I can do any damn thing I want because I got a show on MTV called My Life is Liz that is actually Jack Bush, and I'm in love with some guy that I don't know nothing about, and I'm in chasing another guy that I know jack shit about, and I want to have their babies and stuff. You don't know nothing about these people. How do we know that that article is very true? How do we know that that you did do drugs, that you did have a child and you aborted. How do we know? You're not t you're not showing any evidence that you did. Look, I'm gonna love to get a video response from you, Liz Lee, if that's your real name. Your name could be Shaka Boo Foo Lulu. How do we know that's your real name? Or is that your real hair color? Is that your real hair color? Are you really from Texas? Or did you really uh, did you really go to high school? Did you really go to college? Is everything you saying really the truth? How do we know? You gotta remember once you go on them reality shows, the truth is out the window. Second thing is once you get in that public eye, there is, once you get in that public eye, you're a target, just like every other celebrity, just like Snooky, yeah, Snooky, Jay Wow, and all them, the Jersey Shores. You're just this. You just like them. You are a target. You're a target. You're not going to be looked at as like a regular person. You're a target. So instead of sitting up here trying to get out butt her and trying to point the fucking fingers at me because I won't kiss your ass, got me totally fucked up. I think you is a beautiful young woman. I think you fine as wine. But you was just uncalled for what you did, man, talking about all the, I was lying, spreading these lines, talking BS and this and that. You lying. See, all this, you just could have simply just proven to me and everybody else that I, I didn't do drugs, I didn't have a baby, didn't get pregnant, nothing. But you did. You just proving my point and the guy that wrote the article's point. That's all you're doing. You're proving our points more, much faster. Instead of sitting up here trying to get all butt hurt and mad at me for what I said, I would have got mad at the dude who wrote it. I would have went over there and say, "How dare you write an article on me? I think you was wrong for what you said and what you just, what you said in the video." They were just un totally uncalled for. But you didn't. You sat up here and judge me. I brought the video. I did the video because the person wrote the article. So I was trying to show you, hey, somebody wrote this article. Is this shit true? Is it fake? Is it what? What is it? Instead of you coming up and sitting there telling me the truth and telling your fans the truth, all you do is just prove my point and prove that guy's point. You said you was bullied so damn bad. You say you was bullied and had to leave school. That's just kind of messed up. You was bullied and had to leave school and all like that. But in the show, you went to school. You got your high school diploma. You went to college. You didn't prove me wrong. You proved me right. Instead of judging the hell out of me, you should be judging the hell out of... Now, one thing, judging people is very wrong. It's God's job to be judging somebody. It's not my job to judge and not your job to judge. But you were just straight wrong for what you said. That was just straight wrong. Now, you can sit there and be all butthurt and mad and giggity giggity. And you want to keep lying on me? You can try to sue me. But you're going to sue me for somebody else's bullshit? Hey, that's on you, son. That's on you. This has been Afro Joe's. Ten like motherfucking T.I. is to Liz Lee for my life is Liz. The bitch is, look, I ain't gonna call her a bitch. She's not a bitch. She just uneducated about, about shit. That's all she is, uneducated. I didn't spread these lies. I didn't sit up and say it was true. I, I said somebody wrote an article about you. And you need to get your facts straight before you start putting fingers at somebody you damn sure don't know nothing about.
if 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 it's all this shit is true, I think you should do me a, do a fucking apology. If it's true, I want your ass go up on TV, go on MTV, Inside Edition, whatever, and give me a public apology. If it's a lie, oh, I do a public apology. But since you ain't proved none of this is is a lie, all you did was prove this is true. That's all you did, which is prove me and the guy that was telling the truth. It's easy for somebody to learn what the hell is a Star Wars movie is or who's Chewbacca, <laughs> Chewbacca is. <laughs> because you can, look, you got people that are nerds in your town and they can tell you, oh, uh, Star Wars is a movie about far, far, galaxy, far away. They can tell you what it is. They can tell you what a Chewbacca, Chewbacca is. They can do that, but you ain't proved to me. Oh, you you gave me a hand. Okay, you rubbing it in my face. You're not a nerd. All you did was just hook George Lucas up. Everybody knows who George Lucas is. He's a god of science fiction. But that's how it is. But this has been Afro Joe. I want to tell everybody to tell me what you think about this in a comment or a video response. And if Liz is telling the truth, I do a public apology to her. If it's a lie, I want her ass on TV telling me she's sorry and everything. <laughs> I want that girl to tell me on national TV, live on air, that she's sorry. And that's how it is. This been Afro Joe. Don't sit there and badmouth me. Just bad. Just tell me what you think about the topic. Stick to the damn topic, not me. This been Afro Joe. Holla at a Wookie.